today we're working on this uh, 2014 uh, Dodge Durango. We want to be fixing the uh, power steering pump. As you can see here in the power steering, it's uh, completely empty. And that is because I have a leak on uh, that power steering pump. This is very common on uh, all the uh, Chrysler vehicles, uh, like um, the 200 uh, Dodge Charger, uh, Durango's, uh, any cars that comes with this comes with this uh, power steering pump. And uh, here's the pump. Um, the uh, if you're trying to buy uh, the whole thing, it's going to be a little bit expensive. So. so uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try uh, to repair this uh, power steering pump. I buy a kit, uh, there is a seal or an O-ring that goes in this area right here. Uh, that with the time, like every other seal with time, it gets old and it cracks or it doesn't uh, hold the pressure of the, in this case, of the power steering fluid. So it's leaking the oil. Uh, it's gonna take, I'm not gonna lie to you, like a day to drain the whole the oil of the whole system here. So we're gonna remove uh, the bolts around the pump, remove this part only, and uh, replace the seal. And we're gonna see if that works. This is the seal that I got, a power steering seals. And it's for a Dodge Durango. You see there, Dodge Durango, power steering pump, uh, seal kit 2011 to 2014. The seals that we're gonna replace are the big ones. Uh, there is more seals in here, I'm pretty sure uh, it has more in it or inside the pump. I'm just going to replace the one, the ones that are leaking. Uh, I think this will be the uh, part number and the price. Uh, we're going to try to fix that. Uh, stay tuned if, uh, if you have, if you're having this problem and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a new pump, uh, let's see if we can fix it. Okay, looking from the uh, engine bay from the top side, I really want to remove all the connectors uh, just to make sure you know we're, we're doing, uh, we have enough clearance to, enough room to, to work with this. See? Okay, once you remove the locks, uh, in the case on uh, the small one connector, uh, the clip you need to press it's going to be right here on the side and in this case the clip is going to be in the middle right here okay if uh, they're too hard to remove just press the clip and at the same time just prime with the flat screwdriver right here and uh, they're going to start moving out of there and uh, we're going to remove uh, there's a thumb in the middle bolt holding this small bracket holding those wires um, I'm gonna try to not mess with uh, those hoses. Um, if they're in the way, I'm just gonna remove the clamp and remove the hoses. But we wanna try to not to do that, okay? Just I'm gonna remove uh, this uh, 10 millimeter ball that is holding the uh, wires. And uh, the, that's the good thing about the Durangos. Uh, this uh, pump is right in front. Uh, there is a lot of space work on it I know the uh, Chrysler's 300 and maybe the chargers there is a little bit more difficult uh, to have room to work on it but um, yeah this one is right in front and it's gonna be one two it's gonna be four bolts it's gonna be a, a five a millimeter allen key so, the bolt right here we're gonna use a, a short uh, 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 allen key uh, but I don't have one <laughs> right now so I'm using a T30 and that's working just fine so we're gonna remove that uh, bolt now that we got all those bolts out let's remove uh, there is another millimeter here uh, in this bracket so we're gonna remove that as well ok 
Okay, once that is removed, now we're gonna do this. We're gonna remove uh, this ball. There's another 10 millimeter ball holding this part. And there is another 10 millimeter ball on top of this part. There's two, we're gonna remove those so we can remove this thing out of here and be able to use the hoses uh, for the power steering, the one that is coming from the receiver, uh, they are attached to this part. So this one, it doesn't have any hoses. We wanna remove it, remove the seal, install it back, and then install this part back, uh, install this part back here. Now, in this area right here, uh, we wanna use a flat screwdriver and just move it a uh, little by little. And there's gonna be some oil dripping from there, okay? There you go, I'm sure you have a container. There you go. Because uh, here is gonna be another seal. There's two seals, the big ones. One here, one here. You need to replace those two. Okay, as soon as you remove that bolt on the bracket, uh, you're gonna get uh, that piece right out. So here's one seal right there. The other one is right there. So we're gonna need to remove that seal. Just be careful. Uh, this one, again, it has the two hoses attached on the top, uh, but they are flexible hoses at the end. Uh, so you can uh, move it a little bit, wiggle a little bit to get to that uh, uh, O-ring. We need to remove that gasket. That now you have one of these things, uh, a tool with uh, two pointy ends, uh, this to remove gaskets, so I mean uh, all rings like this. You have one of these, uh, that's going to be very very helpful to remove this gasket. Let's go around it and pull it out. There it is. The back gasket, uh, and in my case, uh, the part that was leaking, the part that was leaking, it was it was right here. Uh, it wasn't the other one, but we wanna replace it anyway. To have both new. I'll make sure that all ring fits in that gap that is designed for it. Okay, Do not let it uh, sit in on the lip or behind it. Make sure it's sitting right where it, where it has to be. Now let's put this thing back together here. There you go baby. Look at how we get in here. How is this thing? There you go. And you can feel the pressure now with the new O-ring. You can feel the pressure when you're trying to put that thing back together. So that means, you know, the that ring is gonna do a good job. In this case, well, this is the easy one. Let's just remove. Let's just remove that gasket. And let's get the new one in. That's it. Now let's install first this thing on the bracket. Remember, two 10 millimeter bolts. And put it back together so we can screw in the uh, four bolts that we removed at the beginning. Right now, I just install one bolt right here. And uh, this one, the gasket, the o ring that goes right here, it's a little tricky. And you put in this part back, uh, it's gonna uh, fall off where the, from where it's supposed to be. So uh, make sure when you put in these bolts back in, the four bolts that goes right here make sure this one is sitting right where it needs to be this one you don't have to worry because you can just push this plastic part in and it's gonna hold the gasket where it, where it needs to be uh, i put this bolt back in and the other one that's the, those are the ones holding this uh, part of the uh, uh, power steering pump 
and we have this one left right here to install it uh, uh, for the bracket uh, we're going to install the uh, little bracket that is holding the wires put back the connectors put these uh, four bolts back in uh, after we're done with that we're going to refill the uh, power steering reservoir and we need to bleed the power steering pump because it's going to have air in it so if you want to know how to bleed or how to remove the air from the power steering pump how to bleed it uh, stay tuned i'm going to record and i'm going to upload another video uh, doing that but remember fill out the power steering reservoir and make sure you bleed this power steering pump before you use the car okay or otherwise you're going to have a lot of uh, noises windy noises when you start the car because the pump is going to start working and there's going to be a, a loud noise coming from the pump and you can damage the pump make sure you bleed the power steering before you start the car i'm going to upload a video doing that so you 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 know how to do it uh, thank you for watching if this video was helpful for you uh, please consider uh, like and subscribe uh, this video and that will help me a lot. Thank you very much for watching my content